Welcome to Arise. Hallelujah. I want to speak to you today about the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. But before I go into that, I just want to explain something very important to you. God is one manifests himself in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Each person has a role to play. God is the creator. He created this beautiful universe. He created everything. He created mankind all through Jesus Christ. So when mankind fell into sin, Jesus Christ took the role and became flesh. He came on this earth to redeem mankind, to redeem us from sins, to accomplish the will of his Father. So Jesus Christ came and walked this earth. At the end of his ministry, he told his disciples, having accomplished the work of his father, he told his disciples that he was about to go back to his father and that he was going to send another helper. Another helper. Same as Jesus Christ. So we see here the Holy Spirit is not an it. So Jesus Christ went to the cross. He died. He rose again. He is alive. He is sitting at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ sent the Holy Spirit. We see that in the book of Acts. So the Holy Spirit is here. Jesus Christ is in heaven. The Holy Spirit is here. His role is to bring people, people to Jesus, to help the church. But he is so overlooked today. He is so overlooked today. A lot of Christians do not know much about the Holy Spirit because they have not been taught about the Holy Spirit. You see, I was part of it too. You see, the Holy Spirit is as powerful as God Almighty. Not because He's the third, He's the least. No, He's not. He is as powerful Powerful as God Almighty. You see, Jesus Christ did not do anything on this earth without the Holy Spirit. Get this. Without the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ did not do anything. Everything was done through the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit... He is here to help the church. But he is so overlooked. He is a person. He can speak. He can listen to you. He has a mind. He has will. He has emotions. He is a person. Get to know him. Get to know him. I was in your shoes before. I only knew the Holy Spirit. I just knew his name, Holy Spirit. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And that was it. I didn't know much about the Holy Spirit. And a lot of Christians out there, they see. They just want to know only about Jesus Christ and don't want to have anything to do with the Holy Spirit. Same thing. I was in that same shoes also. Even when I got my encounter with Jesus Christ in 2019, I only wanted to know about Jesus. 
I wanted to have that personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And I did that. Just knew about Jesus Christ. I didn't want to know much about the Holy Spirit. I would just focus on Jesus alone. So four years into the ministry, I went to the Lord, God Almighty. I said, God, I need help. I need help. And that first day, I went in the presence of God because I went to seek his face. And he spoke to my spirit. I will talk more about that, but not, not in this video. Because that's something, I, you know, you have to learn. The Holy Spirit has to teach you how to, how to hear his voice. So I went to the Lord and I told him, I need help. And the Lord spoke to my spirit. He said, if you want to be successful in ministry, Get to know the Holy Spirit. And when I heard that, I fell on my knees. I began to cry to the Lord. I began to ask for forgiveness. That I really, you know, didn't want to know more about the Holy Spirit. Only Jesus. I know a lot of Christians out there doing the same but I want to tell you from that moment I received the word from God about the Holy Spirit that moment the ministry arise changed that moment I began to seek the Holy Spirit more I just wanted to have that personal relationship with him. Just how I studied hard and, and, and just how I wanted to have that personal relationship with Jesus. And I began to seek the Holy, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And then I started seeing the ministry. Different things power of God began to move. I began to pray for people. I remember I prayed for a pastor and his wife who called because they needed a child. And they, they have been married like five years and no child. So I pray with them. But at the end of the prayer, something happened. The Holy Spirit spoke within my spirit. And I said, by this time next year, you will have a child. But I knew with I knew it did not come from my mind. It came from my spirit. So after I said it, then, you know, after we talk and hang off the phone, then I went, I said, Holy Spirit, I didn't say this. You said it. You said it to them that this time next year, they will have the child. You said it, not me. And guess what? The same time the Holy Spirit is so prompt, the same time we spoke on the phone, that same day they had a child. Get to know the Holy Spirit. Get to know the Holy Spirit. If you are a man of God, woman of God, Get to know the Holy Spirit. If you are in business, get to know the Holy Spirit. 
If you are on your job, get to know the Holy Spirit. Get to know the Holy Spirit. It doesn't matter what you are doing. Get to know the Holy Spirit. You see, knowing about the Holy Spirit is different from knowing the Holy Spirit. Because if you know about the Holy Spirit, it's like you knowing that who He is, what He can do, you know everything about Him in the Bible, you know about Him. But knowing the Holy Spirit is that personal relationship with Him. Just how knowing Jesus Christ is that personal relationship with him. Because if you know about Jesus, you know that, that you know, he came, he healed the sick, he raised the dead, you know about him. But if you know Jesus Christ, you know that everything Jesus Christ has is yours. All power that Jesus Christ has through the Holy Spirit if you know Jesus Christ, you will know that everything that belongs to Jesus Christ is yours. That's how knowing about the Holy Spirit is, that relationship. If you get to know him, the Holy Spirit, you will know everything about Jesus. Hallelujah. So let's get into the word of God. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, come, Holy Spirit. I surrender to you. Bless your people out there. Be with them, Holy Spirit. Those who listen to this message, may you touch their hearts. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. In Jesus' name, Amen. So I will be reading from Acts 19, from 1 to 7. It says here, And it happened while Apollos was at Corinth, that Paul, having passed through the upper regions, came to Ephesus, and finding some disciples, he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believe? This question is for everybody. Since you believe in Jesus Christ, did you receive the Holy Spirit? Since you believe in Jesus Christ, did you receive the Holy Spirit? That's the question. For everybody, all of us. As I said, I was in the same thing before. I believe in Jesus Christ, but I did not receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Because I didn't want to know much about the Holy Spirit. I just want to know about Jesus. And a lot of Christians out there doing the same. But I want to encourage you. Get to know the Holy Spirit. And I am going to talk more about the Holy Spirit on this channel. I will talk more about Him. Because I know how He helped me. From day one, I started this ministry. Even though I put Him aside. I wasn't too focused on him, but he was still helping me. But that moment I got that personal relationship with him, things changed. Hallelujah. And so they said to him, we have not so much as her, whether there is a Holy Spirit. They never heard about the Holy Spirit because no one told them about the Holy Spirit. 
are you being taught about the Holy Spirit? How many churches teaching today about the Holy Spirit? How many churches talking about the Holy Spirit? How many churches enjoying the move with the Holy Spirit? Because He's here. He wants to heal people. But no one is talking about Him. He wants to touch people's lives. But no one is talking about the Holy Spirit. He wants to take you from one level to another. But you don't know him. I'm going to talk more about the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So they say, so he said to them, into what then were you baptized? So they said, into John's baptism. Then Paul said, John indeed, baptized with a baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him who will come after him, that is on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, when they heard this, Paul had to teach them about Jesus Christ. About Jesus Christ sending the Holy Spirit. Paul had to teach them. Are you teaching your people about Jesus and the Holy Spirit? See, Paul told them, see, when they heard, when they heard, faith comes by hearing. You teach about Jesus and the Holy Spirit to your people. And when they hear about it, they will hear to have that personal relationship with the Holy Spirit. And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them. And they spoke with tongues and prophesied. Now the men were about 12 in all. 12 in all. They heard, they received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And they began to prophesy. I remember the Lord preparing me for the ministry. I was seeking his face and he gave me, he showed me this vision, very short vision. After finished praying, I just lap on my back. Then the Lord opened my eyes. I saw this right hand. You see, you have to believe in the supernatural. You, If you don't believe in the supernatural, how will you believe in the Holy Spirit? Holy, Holy Spirit. You don't have to be holy to receive the Holy Spirit. Because no one can be holy. But when you receive Him, He can lead you to holiness. saw this hand very big my fingers big but there was a covering but when I saw my hand and I saw this thick covering so I was wondering what the covering was doing on my hand so I did like this and began to move the remove the covering thick covering I remove everything. When I look, my hands. Then I heard the Lord spoke to me. He said, "Share opportunity. 
share opportunity. There is so much when you get to know and get that relationship with the Holy Spirit. Things can happen. So much. I look to the Holy Spirit every day. I can explain here how much the Lord preparing me for ministry. No. I always like to be in my corner, preach the word, send the word out there. But the Lord is preparing me for something great. But the Holy Spirit must be my friend and must be the friend of all of us. Everybody. We have to be friends with the Holy Spirit. Have you heard about him? Have you heard about the Holy Spirit? He is all what the Bible says. But that relationship, that relationship is the key. Let me read 2 Corinthians 13, verse 14. Paul says here, The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. So that means Jesus gives grace. We see the three persons here. Jesus gives grace. And grace it's not something we deserve, but he gives it. Hallelujah. And the love of God. You see, God offered his love. He sent Jesus. He offers his love. He sent Jesus Christ. It's left for you to accept Jesus Christ. Or you don't accept him. But he sent Jesus Christ. You have been running. You have been seeking. Going all over the place. Looking for what you don't know. But Jesus Christ is here. You have a chance to accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will point you to Jesus Christ. Will touch that heart. Hallelujah. And it's the end of fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with you all, not be with pastor, not, not with evangelists, not with prophets, apostles. Say, be with you all. Say, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. How this fellowship looks like. Let me tell you, you see, when Jesus walked this earth, you see, the disciples, they were walking and talking with him, right? That's fellowship. Jesus Christ teaching them, that's fellowship. Talking with Jesus. When you are fellowshipping with your friend, you are not praying to your friend. You are not praying to your friend. You are talking with your friend. You are listening. You are walking with your friend. That's how the Holy Spirit wants us to fellowship with him. Talk to him. 
you can talk to the Holy Spirit anywhere you are. I talk to him. Holy Spirit, help me. I can't understand this. And just wait for that quiet moment. He's gentle. You just have to wait for that quiet moment. And he will speak. But you got to listen. That quiet moment. He speaks. He's looking for that relationship. Some people are afraid to get closer to the Holy Spirit because they think that the Holy Spirit will, you know, stop them from doing what they want to do. No. It's your choice, boo. It's your choice. What he will do, he will guide you. It, it, it left for you to listen to him or to know him. I remember when um, they brought this whole thing about, you know, plastic. You have to, you know, you go to the grocery store and you have to pay five cents. If you use one plastic, five cents. And I didn't know. And I just ran to the grocery store. I went to get something. I think just one or two items. So when I got to the self-checkout, and then it asked me how many bags you use. I'm like, oh, what, what is this? Is this something new? Am I missing something here? So I just said zero. But then I use one bag. When I said zero, then the Holy Spirit reminded me that I have to say one because I have to pay for the bag. But you see, I, I just said, uh, you know, I didn't really listen. I said, oh, this, that's just five cents bag. And I checked out. And I went. Before I could get to my car, the Holy Spirit reminded me again that I didn't pay for the bag. You see, he just points you to the truth. So it left with me now to accept that truth or to just let it go. And when he said it for the second time, I said, Holy Spirit, I'm sorry. But I've already checked out, so when I go there the next time, I will pay for this bag. If I use one bag, five cents, I will pay ten cents. And I repented. Yeah. And I did. I went to the grocery store again. I had to pay the five cents for the bag. You see, I don't want to cringe him. I don't. Because as the Holy Spirit, if I'm doing anything that is not right, point me to the truth. I don't want to grieve him. You see, that's how a lot of us, we have, because that's the first way the Lord will speak to us when I will in witness. Our inner witness. A lot of us hear that inner witness. Don't do this. What you are doing is not good. Forgive. But you then you sing to yourself, no, I will not forgive. But then the Holy Spirit, you know within yourself, He reminds you. But you ignore Him. As you continue to do that, you will quench the Holy Spirit. And I don't want to quench him. I want to really have that personal relationship with him. Hallelujah. And 
if you have not follow arise or subscribe to my youtube channel i want to encourage you to do so because we're going to learn more about the holy spirit we're going to have that relationship with the holy spirit hallelujah we are going to pray together hallelujah so i want to pray with you before i leave so Father, in the name of Jesus, bless your people out there, O Lord. And I pray, Father, someone that is watching this video, someone that will play this video, they are playing this video, they listen. And Lord, they have been seeking your presence for, for the Holy Spirit. I pray, O oh Lord, may they receive the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. May they get to know the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. And I pray, O oh Lord, that someone want to give the life to Jesus Christ, but they are seeing they are not ready. But I pray, Holy Spirit, that you touch their heart. I pray that you point them to Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray that you touch them. Touch someone out there in the name of Jesus. And I pray that someone who will watch this video, they have the unforgiveness, something deep down in their heart. Someone hurt them and they are struggling to forgive that person. May this video be a different. May the Holy Spirit touch them in the name of Jesus. May you touch their heart and bring them closer to Jesus. Hallelujah. And I pray, Lord, as they forgive, may you forgive them. In the name of Jesus. You came to give grace. We do not deserve your grace. Yet you gave grace. We say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. See you again. Don't forget to follow Arise and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And let's get to know the Holy Spirit together in Jesus' name. Amen.